you are welcome back to my channel yes i'm so excited today eh, it's just a day after my birthday but before we go into that let us see what we have on the board we are going to talk about my birthday within the video okay so this is what we have we are asked to simplify this now we are going to do this using three different methods are you ready all right now let's go first we are going to express 500 as 2 multiplied by 250 right so we have 2 multiplied by 250 raised to the power of 500 divided by 250 raised to the power of 250 okay now remember that a multiplied by b raised to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m okay so that means that this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 500 multiplied by 250 to the power of 500 divided by 250 to the power of 250 all right now we have this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 500 multiplied by 2 to the power of sorry 250 to the power of 500 divided by 250 to the power of 250 okay all right now this is equal to but before that recall that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n therefore we can rewrite this as 2 2 to the power of 500 multiplied by 250 we are picking one and we subtract the powers 500 minus 250 so this is equal to 2 to the power of 500 multiplied by 250 to the power of 250. Now note that 500 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 250. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 250, then multiplied by 250 to the power of 250. Now, I want to thank each and every one of you that wished me well on my birthday, being 12th of August, being yesterday, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And in especially, I want to thank Mark Elaine Hall. Sorry, so sorry. I can't pronounce I know I, I'm not pronouncing it well, but you already know yourself. Mark Elaine Hall, the trading guy, uh, Victor in the scriptures, three of you specifically sent something to me for my birthday. And I want to say thank you very much. May your your pockets never run dry. May God replenish your pocket. I call it his riches a glory. Thank you so very much. And to all my subscribers that wish me well, thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right? All right, so back to the what we are solving. Now, this is equal to, remember that a to the power of m multiplied by n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? Or a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Both, uh, both of them can be exchanged. So we have this to be equal to 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 250 multiplied by 250 raised to the power of 250. All right. So here we have 2 to the power of 2 is 4. We have 4 to the power of 250 multiplied by 250 to the power of 250. Remember that A to the power of M multiplied by B to the power of M is equal to A multiplied by B raised to the power of M. Therefore, we can solve this as 4 multiplied by 250 raised to the power of 250. Now, 4 times 250 
is 4 times 25 is 100. We have one zero. So that should be 1,000 raised to the power of 250. But 1,000 is sent in as 10 to the power of 3, right? Raised to the power of 250, which is equal to 10 to the power of 3 times 250, we give us 750. And this is the answer. Remember, we are, not, we are asked not to use our calculator. So this is the answer, right? Fine. Now, using the second method, please, is this the first time you have seen this amazing channel? If yes, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our videos, okay? We upload our videos as often as possible. So turn in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. And give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, the second method. We express 500 as 250 plus 250. So we have 500 raised to the power of 250 plus 250 divided by 250 to the power of 250. Okay? Now recall that using the law of exponents, recall that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that means that we can write this as 500 to the power of 250 multiplied by 500 to the power of 250 divided by 250 to the power of 250. Okay, now we have, this is equal to 500 to the power of 250 multiplied by 500 to the power of 250 divided by 250 to the power of 250. Remember that <laughs> a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m is equal to a divided by b raised to the power of m. Okay? So, we'll solve this as 500 to the power of 250 multiplied by 500 over 250 raised to the power of 250. So this is equal to 500 to the power of 250 multiplied by, now 250 we divide this to give us 2, so it will be 2 to the power of 250. Okay? Recall that A to the power of M multiplied by B to the power of M is equal to A, B raised to the power of M. So we can write this as 500 to the power of 250 multiplied by 500 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 250. So this is equal to 1000 raised to the power of 250. So we have gotten to the stage that we concluded the other one. This is 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250. So it's 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 250, 10 to the power of 750, which is what we got using the first method. Now, the last but not the least and the easiest and fastest of them all, okay, is this particular method. So, we have... 500 is same thing as 25 times, sorry, it's same thing as 5 times 100, okay? And 250 is the same thing as 25 times 10. So we are going to replace this with 5 multiplied by 100 raised to the power of 500 divided by 25 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 250. Okay, now this is equal to 
I'm not going to be stating the laws anymore. Let's just go straight and apply them. So this is 5 to the power of 500, okay? Multiplied by 100 to the power of 500, divided by 25 to the power of 250, multiplied by 10 to the power of 250. All right. Now this is equal to 5 to the power of 500 multiplied by 100 is same as 10 to the power of 2, right? Then raised to the power of 500. Divided by 25 is same as 5 squared raised to the power of 250 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 250. So this is equal to 5 to the power of 500 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2 multiplied by 500, right? Using the laws I've already explained in the first and second method. Divided by 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 250 multiplied by 10 to the power of 250. So this will give us 5 to the power of 500 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1000 divided by 5 to the power of 500 multiplied by 10 to the power of 250. Now this will cancel itself, right? And we are left with 10 to the power of 1000 divided by 10 to the power of 250. So this is equal to 10 to the power of 1000 minus 250 using the law of exponents that I've explained before. And this will give us 10 to the power of 750, just like we got in the other methods. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.